they they held out for a really good deal, and that's crucial. And I'm so um, it was such a hard time for so many people, and I think that was lost on no one. But um, ultimately, you know, they've reached a good place, and I think you know it's it's so important to retain kind of live creativity. You know, what the experience that you have when you go to a theatre, the experience you have when you watch a film and you see a you know a living, breathing person holding up a mirror to your life that you can find. Uh, something and some solace or some you know something opens up in you and I just don't think that's possible without the, the you know so I think it's been crucial for our the future of our art for the work that they did on this deal so I'm, I'm immensely grateful to SAC. Well, I don't know what more I can add to this conversation that people are having, but I'm just really thrilled there's protection in place because it's such a concern. You know, it's sort of a very far-reaching idea that's going to be shape-shifting over time that we're going to have to continue to re-examine. But as long as people feel that there's real protection in place, I think that I think it's a huge start. I think it's huge. What the deal that's been achieved is is so exciting. You know, it's it's an evolving conversation. I am generally somebody who likes something that looks very handmade. I like knowing that there's artistry in it and I like supporting those artists who are creating that. I feel like there are maybe a handful of people and a lot of people in Indian country who can see how AI could be beneficial to support the art that they're doing. It's a double-sided thing though. It's um, in the hands of clever artists, AI is another tool. It shouldn't replace the artistry, it shouldn't replace the ingenuity, it should never replace the people. It should, you know, if it's there for us, it should uplift what we're doing, not, uh, not push us aside.